say good morning guys and how y'all doing of course you know it's saturday morning once again you know the week go by so fast saturday comes so quick and i'm done in mon repose and look at the craziness here even though our cases are increasing people are still going about their daily business as usual so i just drive by to see what's going on here maybe i'll go in, go in the market and get a fish you know my wife ate that lokanani a couple weeks back and she really liked it i really like it too even the kids liked it so maybe i'm gonna go check if i can find one more lokanani and cook it today parking here but that's too far to walk to the market so I'm gonna go around this is the back street of Monrepo this is Shadir Street It's a small one, a big one. Too busy now. Yeah. How much should I buy? Some? Bro, so I get, I get some pork. That free, right? That free from the house. Yeah, Good. The house, right. the yeah, there, yeah. Just some nice fish. Yeah. <laughs> this young lady here got some nice shrimp for your white belly shrimp. Five dollar for a pong. Alright, give me two pong man. Give me two pong. Give me a friend. Oh, come, it's a five dollar. Give me five dollar US. Yeah, this is a half pack. This guy got down here. Alright. I'll give you a sale tomorrow. 
can be one sided, so give it this hand to your seal you too. Ginger here, meat man there, a lot of meat over there as well. Well, guys, I'm back in the kitchen. I pick up two bread. This is a white bread, farm bread. This is a raisin bread. I got some cassava pone here. I saw my friend, everything for it. Made cassava pone the other day, and I didn't eat it in a long time, so you know. I bought a couple here from Mercy Federal. These are pine, pine heart or pine tart, we call it in Guyana. And here I got these Lokananis. And this is a Huri. Right? This is um, another sweet water fish back in Ezekiel. But this is a very bony fish. So I'm gonna clean these up and I'm gonna cook a curry. Maybe. You see, me got my Lokanani from the market. So I'm about to make some. Balanje curry with edo and fry balanje with potatoes. So I got my potato there, I got my tomatoes, pepper, got a shallot, celery, garlic, onion. Here is my edos. Look who's cutting my edos. The love of my life, my wife. <laughs> yeah, so that's the edos there. I'm gonna go with this balanje. You see there's different variety of balanje, right? There's the the mavish color one. And then there's the pink one, which I'm gonna cook with the potato. And of course, yeah, you see, cousin boko, cousin boko fry shrimps. Gonna go into <laughs> the fry balanje. Of course, I might put some into the um, balanje curry as well. And here I have those fish that I bought, the, the, the lakananis. So I'm gonna fry those on top. So I'm getting some help from this lovely lady here, you know, she's good. You know, when I grow up, I want to be like her, you know, <laughs> like to have all this skill in cutting potato and onion and garlic and stuff. You understand? So she's, she, she decided to be on my video you now. She, she's not all of that shy. Oh God, don't put the camera on this one. Yeah. <laughs> since the girl, since the girl gets her own channel now, the girl now in frightening for be on my channel, so you know, this is a good thing, you know. So, I'm gonna start cooking. I remember it's Saturday, so I gotta cook today and tomorrow. So I'm making one cook. Guyana, Guyanese, we call it a, we have a term that we use, one cook. You cook a large amount of food or you cook up a storm, which means cook a large amount of food. That's gonna last you for two days or three days. In my case, I want it to last for three days, like maybe till Monday. She has to start cooking on Monday, not me. So, let me get busy, all right? You can peel some of the skin off if you want, and you can cook it with the skin. Both ways you can cook it, with or without the skin. But, you know, a lot of people like it with the skin, so I like it with the skin. So, I'm gonna be cooking it with the skin. And this is how you cut the balanje, little bits. You know, the smaller you cut them, the faster they cook. The balanje all cut up. So in order to get all the seeds from the balanje, this is how you do it. You get a strainer with a basin at the bottom. You fill it up and you kind of mash the um, balanje a little. We're going to take them out like that, yeah? Over into this basin. So all the seeds are going to remain at the bottom there. See them float in there? Good. So it's kind of clean, so you're getting clean balanji. Still got a few seeds down here and there, but you know, it's not like these here that have all the seeds. Look at all the seeds at the bottom there. We can plant it in the garden, honey. Mm. You can get balanji in another three months. I'm about to go start cooking. So I get my jira, masala, black pepper, and turmeric here. And the oil is hot, so I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add my seasoning. Balanje curry is cooked the same way as fish curry, the same seasoning. Depends on how much balanje you have. That's how 
how you measure the seasoning. So I'm gonna let this fry up and then we're gonna add some shrimp in there. Because I want the shrimp to get the seasoning, you know, as well. And then I'm gonna add in my balanje, my arrows. That is the curry one I'm making here, the curry balanje. In the meantime, the oil hot in over there. I think she can show you some and she helped me show you a little garlic there. She have to have some onion, some shallot. You know. It's a two body thing today, man. We come in together, cook in the car. We can't feed you, I can't feed you and cook together and cook together. So let's fry up and then we can throw in some of the shrimps, darling. We want the shrimps blend up with the, uh, with the seasoning. Balanche is work good with a little shrimp, man. So see this thing a little dry there, we got a little water. You get the smell of that, Alan? Oh gosh! Sizzle in there, look at that! This fried balanche will make you eat. At this stage where you're cooking, you gotta be next to your stove. You gotta keep turning your stuff because you're gonna burn the food. So this thing will cook for like a two minutes and then we go add in the, the balanje. So we go throw in a little salt. Oh you're not showing cousin buffer shrimp in there though. Yeah. Like, 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 like infuse in there. <laughs> so my wife is gonna put in the balanje in there. So see. Get a little help there, man. Oh, I see. So we got one tablespoon of salt in the balanji, or you can show as much as you like, but not too much to, you know, make the food too salt. You could always add salt, but you can't take it, right? Remember that. So this is gonna cook down, and you can lose it all the water. You don't have to add water to this till later. So we added the arrows in there. Actually, we forget to add the arrow. The arrow is supposed to go in along with the um, before the balanji <laughs> with the shrimps. So I added my potato there. I was supposed to add the arrows in the masala so it could, you know, the masala could get all over it and, you know, season the arrow, but hey, I forgot. Sometimes, you know, when you multitasking, cooking two pots at the same time, your attention is kind of derailed, you know. But you can make so many things with balanji, you can make something called bagani. It's an Indian um, dish where you, you cut the balanji, you butter it with some flour, some, you know. Like pulao, it looks like man. You don't butter it or you fry it. After five minutes, you see how much water this balanji actually give off. These edos are already getting soft. Look at that. Wow. And over here is the fry balanji. Taking shape. After 10 minutes, this is the Mabalanje curry looking like. I just added some water, but I couldn't do that and work out at the same time. But I just added some water there. This is 10 minutes later. I'm gonna let this boil down a little bit. Because if you notice, the arrows are already boiled. So that's the main thing. So I'm gonna let this boil long, and then this is ready to eat. In five minutes, the curry is finished. So this curry took me at least 18 minutes to so 20 minutes maximum. That's how fast Balanji and Edo can cook in 20 minutes. So I'm gonna let that cook for five minutes and then I won't cover that back. Now this one over here, this is also 10 minutes later. I added some water like a minute ago. Once the potato boil, the potato wasn't supposed to cut like this. It was supposed to cut like this, thin. Okay, but we cut these here to put in that curry over there, but then I remembered I had some edos. This is ready right now. It's fully cooked. 20 minutes total. So I'm gonna turn my off. Next, I gotta fry the fish. I have to go and season my fish right now. This here is done as well. So guys, this is the finished product of our fried balanje, balanje and potato. Now, I'm looking at another YouTuber, Stan's uh, family. He has a YouTube channel and he cuts his fish like this, which I think is an awesome idea. 
so the seasoning can get in into that all right so now i'm copying this from him i know a lot of people look at my channel and they do things how i do it because we we are learning every day you know understand we are not perfect so i am happy i look at this guy's channel i learned to do the fish like him now it's gonna take one fool to tell me be original, don't be like Stan's, or don't be like their meat. You understand? That is why YouTube is all about, Google is all about, so you can learn. And I know the same people who make these foolish comments. When they need to know, learn something, they go to Google and they ask Google, Google, how to hot water. Google, how to hot water. And thanks to my wife for that. Yeah, they ask Google and YouTube how to do things. And you're sitting there trying to condemn me, condemn me. But you know what? I still love you. It ain't gonna move me. Negativity ain't gonna move me. I am myself. Some salt on this fish. And I put down the oil and I'll fry it up. I season the fish. I season the other two, but I'm not gonna cook all at once because, you know, hey, this one is gonna work for us. So I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator for another day. We already have two curries. We got the rice. I'm gonna fry my fish now. The oil is hot. Smoking. Now I'm gonna take this bad boy and add it in here. So when you fish like this, you just wanna take some of the oil and just you know, put it at the top over to help cook the top of the fish. In, you know, when you need that. And see how nice this fish cut in cube, which I think is a good way. The, you know, all in between here, you can get the seasoning. The fish will taste better. Look how beautiful this fish looks. So that's ready there. I'm going to turn my stove off. And I'm going to take it out. Look how awesome are those curries. And that lovely fried fish. So, we're going to dig in. Oh, I said she's gonna make some parathy roti this afternoon. Now we're gonna lash the shrimp curry and the fried shrimp. Maybe fried fish for dinner. Man, this food tastes good. So, guys, thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please give me that thumbs up. Share this video. Peace out. And see you in the next video.